I've really got it going for me today. <laughs> this hair, amazing. This laundry, fantastic. I will get to the laundry today. This is my, my task for the afternoon. Um, hi everybody. My hair's crazy. I have to do my hair still. So. Uh, it's, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. And I felt inspired to vlog. I was feeling weird about vlogging in the past two weeks. I've been trying to like stick to a three days a week schedule and it just hasn't been working out very well. I was like, okay, I'm going to film these sip and shares and get them up once a week. And I've been like, okay at that. Um, I'm really excited to continue doing that. I'm gonna film one today. But sticking to this three days a week schedule was like, it just was weird and hard to like kind of catch up to get to that point. And then today I was like, why am I doing this to myself? I run best on like posting every other day if I can keep up with it because here's my thing it's almost like daily vlogging because oftentimes I'll like film two days in a row and you'll kind of follow me through my days and it keeps me from getting too mechanical too planned too scheduled with my videos because I feel like you guys get a clearer more true version of me when I'm filming frequently when I stop filming for a little while and I try and like schedule them out like every three or like three days a week and you know you might get like a video on Friday that was filmed last Tuesday that gets a little I feel like I have to perform in a way when I pick up the camera again and when I do these like every other video vlogs or every other day vlogs, God, I can't even speak. I feel like you guys get just a more true to life version of me and not everybody's gonna like that and that's totally cool, but it just feels more genuine and authentic for me being the person that's filming it and putting out my life because I never want to look too put together. Does that make sense? Maybe that's like not the average line of thinking, but I never want to look like I have my shit together all the time. I want to show what real life looks like. Some days are going to be better than others. Some days we do stuff, some days we don't. Um, emotions are different each day and I just kind of want to show that. And I feel like changing my schedule and, and stretching out the vlogs was kind of taking away from that a little bit. So today I was watching one of my favorite channels and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, do you know what? No, I just need to go back. Sometimes there's a reason I follow certain channels and watch them regularly because they keep me grounded and they make me remember why I do this in the first place and why I love it and how this community has been built slowly but surely. And I would rather have people come here because they want the real version of me, the everyday version of me, then people come here because they like like one video I did once upon a time and then they're like unimpressed with everything else I do because I feel like that's how you get trolly haters on social media. I want somebody who's like cool with showing up with me every day. You know what I mean? So anyway, I need to do laundry. Ugh, I don't know where this towel is from. I can't tell if it came from my bathroom and was left here by a kid or if it came from one of those files so it's going back into the laundry because it can't be trusted <laughs> um fins in my laundry basket so i need to do this i just finished all the laundry yesterday i'm just kind of bobbing around today i'm gonna film i think i'm gonna film in my bedroom today I'm feeling like a cozy day um i spent the morning baking <laughs> doing lots of things in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen from like 9 a.m. until probably 11.30. Just, I started baking bread every single day. I think you saw that in the last vlog. I'm also editing the vlog that's gonna go up today. And I'm just like, do you know what? Screw the schedule. I'm gonna make sure there's one sip and share a week and it's just gonna get popped in there. And we're just gonna do whatever the heck I want for the rest of the time because we're gonna be putting in the garden soon. Eventually I'm gonna be pregnant. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Let this be the month, okay? Let's just like put the positive vibes out there. Um, and there's just so many things going on that I just want to be able to take you guys along with. Because I feel like it's just so much more real in the moment than telling you about it later after it's already happened. A new season is upon us and it's just time to, I just feel good about sharing. So. Uh, yeah, I was in the kitchen all morning this morning because I started making bread a different way. Uh, I put it in the description. I'm going to put it in the description in the vlog that I'm editing. So in the vlog before this, that's not confusing at all. Um, there is this awesome guy I found that makes bread that you only really have to touch and handle about 20 to 30 minutes um, for the entire day. 
and then you're done. And it's a really easy, practical way to make bread every day. Um, and I was having a lot of d issues, but I talked about more sourdough stuff in the video before. So I've started, and I think I'm on loaf four this morning, my fourth time making this recipe. It's p turned out perfect every single time, and I screwed up this morning. I accidentally reset my oven when I went to like take the lid off of my crock pot. So, well, not crock pot, what's that called? Dutch oven. And it still turned out amazing. It still turned out amazing. It's been amazing bread. If I don't want to eat a sourdough loaf every single day, I can just gift a loaf so it works out. And I can do it while I make breakfast. So I did end up spending extra time in the kitchen because I was doing many things at once, but it was fun. But now it's like 1.30 and I really need to get stuff going. I don't know if this happens for you or anybody out there, but like sometimes if we just start late, I can just, it just really makes the day just speed by. And I'm like, ah, I have all these things to do and no more time left, but oh well. I just try and roll with the punches, but I wanted to say hello. I'm gonna start the vlog today. We have to go to Costco tonight. Um, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and I feel like a bad social media person because I didn't post anything about Cody. We don't do anything for Valentine's Day. Well, that's not true. Sometimes we do, but this is such a nonchalant holiday for us. Like, we don't care at all. And most of the time, if I'm being perfectly honest, I completely forget about this holiday because my brain is totally focused on Grayson and his birthday in, you know, a week and a half and thinking about what we want to do and planning. I put a lot of thought and effort into their birthdays, even on years that we do something really simple. And so I just totally forget about that Valentine's Day. We just like don't care. It's so funny. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm just a bad influencer because I didn't post how much I love my husband on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> um, no, we ha we ended up, it, that has a fell on our date night anyway. So we like had a, a great night and we like had our normal date and we just like chilled out, but it was good. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. I really want to put these together. Can I show you guys one, one more thing before I leave you? Is that boring? Am I talking too much? So Cody got me these probably two years ago, if I'm being perfectly honest. By the time he ordered them, it was probably two years ago now. And it was a Kickstarter. They're doing another Kickstarter now, but I was like, okay, I'm going to do them. And then I forgot about them. And then I was like, hey, would we move? We're going to do them. And now we've lived here for a year and a half, and I totally forgot about them again. They're called Pico. And they are a little grow thing a little grow thing it's a pot with its own like light so it's a little like sun simulator and it sticks to your fridge or anything metal and you can grow i think it can go on the counter as well and you can grow little plants it's really cool cody saw this and surprised me with it for just he does that um you know that's why we don't we don't care about valentine's day and stuff cody's always surprising me we're always like just getting things and doing little things for each other all the time. So it, things like Valentine's Day just don't really tickle our fancy. Okay, let me grab the open one. But I've been meaning to set these up, but I need Cody to like help me figure out, cause it's a little bit technology-ish. I'm sure I could easily do it on my own, but I would rather do it with him. So there are these little pods. Look how cute. And it, again, it's called Pico. And this is the light. And you can like raise it as it grows and there's a big cord in here and it's usb chargeable or do we need to put, plug it in all the time i don't know i have to figure it out but like so you just plant little herbs or whatever in there and you can like monitor the water so i really need to like look and see how it how it needs to be made um how i need to work it but i thought it would be a really fun experiment especially for right now just to grow some of my herbs right in on the fridge. Oh, home is where my plants are. They're stickers. I've never really taken it apart. I was just like, okay, I'll just do this a different time. So I'm really, really excited to kind of go through here and put them together. I was thinking I could grow basil, probably some parsley. It just requires a very, very small amount of dirt. It like diffuses, it creates this own little like cute environment. So I'm really excited to test it out, finally. I just feel horrible that I haven't tested it out yet. Hello, Mackenzie. 
Um, you could do like house plants in here or like propagate clippings or whatever. I feel like I'll probably just do herbs that I can actually use. Cause you know me, almost every single herb around my house or like plant is, has a use. So I want to show you guys when I put those together. If we have time, maybe I'll get together with Cody and do that. Okay. I gotta get started, I gotta film a video, I need to edit, but I just wanted to say hi to you guys and kind of get the ball rolling and chat with you a little minute. I have a child waiting for my attention, so I will see you in a minute. <laughs> 